Hello and welcome back to Zulua Consultants. In this video, I want to answer this question under the topic Simple Machine. So the first question is asking us to find the weight of this load. So basically, for us to find the weight of the load, we need to remember that weight is equal to mg. G is the acceleration due to gravity and in the question we have been given that the acceleration due to gravity is 10 newton per kg. So we can get some information that is the data regarding this question. The mass of the load is 600 kg and then the acceleration due to gravity it is equal to 10 newtons per kg. So for us to find the weight, we have been asked to find the weight. So we need to multiply the mass and the gravity to find the weight. So weight is equal to, if the mass is 600 kg multiplied by 10 newtons per kg so our weight will be equal to 600 multiplied by 10 it gives us 6000 now according to dimension analysis this kg and this kg will simplify and it will leave us with 6000 newtons so this becomes the weight that is produced by this law the second question is asking us to find the mechanical advantage and we know that mechanical advantage which is MA is equal to load divided by effort. So we can get some information regarding this question when it comes to the data of this question. The load we are just from calculating the weight of uh, this pulley system that the weight is 6,000 Newton then the effort is the 1,000 that we have been given that is 1,000 uh, Newtons there so the mechanical advantage which is MA will be equal to the load is 6,000 Newtons divided by 1,000 Newtons. Now, at this point, you can see that these Newtons are simplifying. This is the reason why mechanical advantage does not have the units, because the Newtons are simplifying, hence, this is called the ratio. Dividing 1,000 into 6,000, it is giving us that MA is equal to 6 which is the mechanical advantage. So we can put that the mechanical advantage is equal to six. The third question is asking us to calculate the velocity ratio, which is the VR. Now the velocity ratio in a pulley system is counted or found by counting the number of lines that are connected to the moving pulley. Now, when it comes to this a diagram that we have, you can notice that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines that are connected to the moving pulley. This line will not be added because it is not connected to the moving pulley. So we only have eight lines that are connected to this moving pulley system. Hence, we'll say the velocity ratio for this pulley system is equal to 8. So remember, you only count the lines that are connected to the moving pulley. The last question in this video is asking us to calculate the efficiency of this pulley system. Now, we need to remember the formula for efficiency that efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage divide by the velocity ratio multiply by 100 percent 
So we found in our second question that mechanical advantage is six and the velocity ratio, we found that the velocity ratio of this pulley system is eight. So the efficiency is equal to six divided by eight multiplied by 100%. So efficiency will be equal to uh, 6 divided by 8. 6 divided by 8 is giving us 0 0.75 multiplied by 100%. So 0 0.75 multiplied by 100 it gives us the efficiency is equal to 75%. So this becomes the efficiency of this pulling system. And if the percentage is quite good, then it shows that this really is a simple machine. We have three questions that we want to answer in this video. The first one is asking us to find the mechanical advantage then we'll also find the velocity ratio, and last but not the least, we'll find the efficiency of this pulley system. Let us solve the first one, that is the mechanical advantage. So, the mechanical advantage, we want to find A. Mechanical advantage is calculated as load over effort. So we need to get the information from the question and from the question the load is 4500 the effort is 1000 so we are going to divide 4500 newtons divided by 1000 newtons when we divide the two that is 4500 divided by 1000 we get 4.5 as the mechanical advantage. So mechanical advantage has no units because this is a ratio. The second question is asking us to find the velocity ratio. Now remember that this is a pulley system. So when you have been asked to find the velocity ratio of the pulley system, you simply count the lines in the pulley system that are connected to the moving pulleys. So in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six lines that are connected to the moving pulley. In this one, we are not going to count it because it's not connected to the moving pulley. So we have the velocity ratio of six. The third question is asking us to find the efficiency of this pulley system. So how do we calculate the efficiency? Efficiency of the pulley system is equal to mechanical advantage divided by the velocity ratio multiplied by 100%. So from A and B, we managed to calculate the mechanical advantage and the velocity ratio. So the mechanical advantage is 4.5. The velocity ratio is 6 multiplied by 100%. So we are saying 4.5 divided by 6, it is giving us 0 0.75. We are multiplying this with 100%. So 0 0.75 multiplied by 100%, it gives us 75%. So this 75% becomes the efficiency of this pulley system. Before you can go, we hope you like this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to follow us on Facebook, and indeed to like this video, share this video, give us the feedback by commenting on this video. If you do so, you are sharing the information. Thank you so much.